Hello everybody, Grace to place. We're back with more Beam NG Drive, no time for BS. So we've got a little bit of a setup here. Someone wanted to, well a bunch of you, wanted to see some uh, police chases and barricades and things like that. So I think we're going to start off with a nice police barricade here. We're going to see just how much a car can muscle its way through the police. So we have three different segments of police here. We're going to start way back here with our various vehicles. Right now we have the standard white Beam NG truck. This is the mountains, the Beam Mountains map. Awesome map, by the way. You can see there is a lot of cliffs and kind of like really narrow dirt style roads. A little bit of paving here and there. That's kind of what we're using here. So in the backwoods of somewhere USA, a young man has gone against the law. And now he should probably freaking pull over. But instead, we're going to try and blast through everything. We've got all the countries represented. <laughs> We got some uh, Polizzi here. That's going to be the first vehicles that we're going to have to smash through. These ones right here. If we can make it through those, we've got the more classic Crown Vic style uh, police cruisers waiting for us. And if we can get through those, then further down the way here, we're going to have to bash through a couple of high speed interceptor style police full size SUVs. So we're going to see. Can, can a smaller, speedier vehicle make it through all this BS, or do we really need something big and hulkish? More like a nice, uh, a nice 18-wheeler or something. Either way, we're going to see a bunch of crashing. We'll do a little bit of it in the first-person view, too. Let's start off real quick with the classic car. Just once right down the road, our little white Beam NG truck. All right, boys. First-person view. Here we go. This reminds me a lot of a uh, old work truck I used to have. Only I wasn't trying to smash through police barricades. See if we can get through those Polizzi. Getting about 60. All right, here we go. Uh, right through the first one. Oh, crap. Uh, hold on. Is, can our vehicle still work? Oh, no. Oh, I think we're heading down a mountain or something. Um, okay. You know, I don't think we did too bad if we... I'm just going to let you kind of go off on your own. If we look around at the destruction, we managed to get through half of the secondary police blockade. The first one we blew through pretty good. I think it was a lot of it was just our uh, our aim there. We kind of just barely kissed this one and really smashed through the other one. I'm going to try and hit it right in the middle, though, with the next car. I think that would be slightly better. Let's reset it up. All right, we've got a Mad Max-style vehicle here. We've got the push bars on the front. This one should do pretty good. Sounds like it's uh, supercharged up or something like that. Look at the custom... I don't know what even to call that. Some sort of... Uh, I guess that's like custom cooling or something. Got an interesting grill on the front. Armor all around this guy. And then, what the hell, a little extra gas tank on the on the back. That may be the only gas tank. This thing is so customized and, and jacked up. I don't even know what to call it. Let's give it a shot, though. We're going to do it right from about here, I think. See what we can get through. And then maybe we'll do a first-person view. This thing gets some pretty good speed, though. Let's see how good these push bars are. There we go. Through the... Oh, no, I can't keep it. Hold on. Hold on. I'm still... If we can keep going, I'm gonna... Oh, no! No, our plow got caught in the front of the freaking cop car. That's BS. All right, I'll do a first-person view for you guys. Well, there's not much to see. You can see, man, there is just obstructions everywhere. Oh, God. All right, there we go. Right on... Right down the middle. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. I think we ended up on our... Oh, we ended up against a tree. We, uh... Oh, I think... I think a couple of the vehicles went... Where in the world? Oh, there it goes. Right down there. Yep. We sent we sent the Polizzi soaring off the side of the cliff. I think some I think some slow-mo crashes on this map will be pretty damn cool. Let's uh let's give that a shot real quick with our uh, with our Mad Max pusher over there. Alright, now we weren't even able to get past the first one last time, but I feel a little bit better about this one. Here we go. Yeah. Right through the Polizzi. Damn it. Yeah, that that push bar is a real pain in the ass that we have on the front. It just catches on everything. Man, maybe having a plow isn't such a good idea. Just barely kind of caught the tail edge of that police car right over there. And we are we are off the mountain. We're stopped, caught, and probably imprisoned. All right, I felt we needed something bigger, something beefier. So how about this taxi over here? That should do pretty good for us. This is a much more weighty vehicle. Maybe we'll have a little bit better, uh, better line down the middle. Let's give it a shot here. That's right, we've hijacked a taxi, and we're heading, we're blowing this freaking popsicle stand. We're heading out of this podunk, Ugh, right through. Nice, oh no, no, no. Don't you do it. 
Oh, oh, for the first time. For the first time. I think we barely touched, yes. We barely touched the, FUV, the SUVs, but it was a dead stop once we came to them. The rest of the stuff, though, we managed to blow past pretty good. Again, we're just barely kind of catching the one side of the vehicle. We are sending those things straight off the cliff. Oh, these two met down here by this tree. They're having lunch or something like that. Lord of the taxis, guide my SUV. Out of the way, policey. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Yes. We're free. We made it. Oh, okay. Hold on. That <laughs> Stopped by a tree. Come on, man. Still, though, it did pretty good. It got past most of the vehicles. Now, we cheated a little bit in that we kind of went on the side. You can see, well, except for this one over here. Man, we slammed right through the... Uh, the smaller polizzi style vehicles but the the crown vic we kind of went around this one and just ended up flattening the secondary one and then down here though we ended up flipping a police a police suv so that was pretty cool let's try something even bigger there we go big old box truck this should do some damage don't you guys worry the school buses are coming they're coming we're gonna save the best for last but for right now let's see if we can easily bust bust past all of the police vehicles in this big old thing. Now, we're not going to get a ton of speed in this, but man, once we get going, this thing should really rocket through everything in its way. Oh, one of the police is out of the way. All right, we'll go hit this one. Hit that one right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Okay, all right, we're starting to roll a little bit. Oh, we're rolling. Oh, no. And stopped with a tree. Okay. So, up, whoa, I don't know why that police is on, oh, it wasn't, it wasn't the SUV that was on fire, it was our, uh, was our, our gas tank over there. All right, let me reset everything back up. I'm going to try and get the police cruisers set a little bit closer together, and then we'll do a little bit of a slow-mo action here. Here we go. I went and got a lot more speed for this. There's the initial impact. We'll speed up just a little bit here. Straight through the first barrier. Oh, we're starting to cant a little bit here, though. This is what it looks like from the police's perspective. Not too good, quite honestly. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that guy over there going flying off the mountain. And now, this is this is great, man. We are we are like straight shooting it right now. All we have to do, I think we may have lost a tire in the front. All we have to do though, is get past the SUVs and we're scot-free. Here we come around the corner. This should not be an issue at all. Ugh, out of my way, says Gray. Out of my freaking way. There we go. Yes. Look at the flip. Oh, we're taking a bolt down. Nice. All right. And that, that, boys, is how you get past a police blockade. And then it's also how you... <laughs> that's, all you that's also how you meet a tree in the end. But uh, we did get through. So that's what I wanted to check on. You boys know what time it is. It's time for runaway school buses, though. The time has come, boys. We're going full speed ahead for this. Full speed ahead. Out of the way. Uh, we've got class to get to. Oh, wow. Okay. So, if you ever want to run from the police, I guess, use a school bus. Oh, man. Look at this thing. We just, uh, it was like playing badminton. We just slapped him right off the mountain over there. This guy, I think, not even going to have to touch up the paint. He, he escaped out, skated out of that with no issues. The two Crown Vicks, though, both those got busted up. Your trunk is showing, buddy. And then over here, I think only one Polizzi ended up getting touched. Yep, just one. I don't even know where he is. He's probably somewhere down the mountain. Usually, oh, I see him. Hold on. Find the police car. There he is. I was gonna say, usually when these things go flying off the uh, off the ledge here, there's like no telling where they're gonna end up at. You boys say first person view? First person view. School bus rules, obey the driver, respect others, remain seated. All right, kids, school's in session. Gray's driving us. Don't worry though, we're gonna get to, uh, we're gonna get there in time. We're a little bit late for matriculation, huh? Ugh. Out of my way, damn it. Yeah. Oh, we ramped over. We ramped over. <laughs> it 
Is there uh is it just me or is there a police car in our in our cab almost? How are the kids doing? Oh no. That doesn't that doesn't look good. Um oh crap. Let's uh let's kind of see how we made out here. Oh, we brought one of the SUVs down with us. Where's the other one at? Oh god. Oh, I have no idea. Are they both down here? Oh, they are both down here. Look, there's one over here and one over here. We took both of them with us. That's interesting. We want to take the police to school as well. The rest of this is just an absolute battlefield of death. Wow. Everything else got obliterated. The time has come to finish things off in style. You boys knew. You boys knew the silver bullet would be making its way to the Beam Mountains. Especially if it has the opportunity to bust through some police, uh, some police lines here. Little bit on edge, so I'm not sure how well we're gonna hit. Let's take a look. Here we go. How are we looking? Oh, it's looking, oh, we're starting to slide a little bit. You can't stop the silver bullet. No one stops the silver bullet. The silver bullet takes everyone with it. Although, we're starting to catch vehicles underneath. Oh, no. I think we're starting to cant toward the trees. Oh, crap. Well, I can't, I can't fully say I expected that to happen. Um, well, crap. How'd everything else, oh, the rest of the police vehicles took out the SUVs. So, technically, we busted through the, uh, we busted through the stop, but we used the other vehicles to, wow, we took this car all the way up here with us. Man. The silver bullet can lay down some destruction. Let's see if we can get a little bit spot on. All right, full speed here, boys. Full speed from the side view. Oh, wow. Oh, we're flying. What? Oh, it's, like a, it's like an ultimate warrior style backbreaker across the tree. Holy crap. Um, What do we have going on down here? There's a tire. I don't know whose it is. Oh, right over here. It's the SUV, the police SUV is still kind of, uh, still kind of hauling down the, down the pathway. Oh, wow. Is anything left up here? Uh, yeah, there's a, there's a couple of cars left up here. One or two. We've got, uh, we got the one police car still here, so that's all right. And then one Crown Vic kind of got out of the way of the destruction. For all you first person view lovers, let's see what it's like to fly. Here we go. Oh, yeah. There it is. That's the ramp I'm talking about, man. We seem to ramp really good off the Crown Vic. Oh, speaking of Crown Vicks, there goes one right there. <laughs> Anything else going inside of here? So if you were in the middle, no, if you were in the back seat, I think you're okay. I don't know what that is laying down there. I don't know if that's a piece of the bus. There's kind of a tree limb coming through. Other than that, though, oh, I was going to say, other than that, though, the bus doesn't look too bad. The driver's toast. All right. So this is gonna be our last little go through here. I'm gonna try and hit all these vehicles just before we say goodbye. We're gonna finish it up with the silver bullet. The MVP of police vehicular destruction as it blows straight through the police. Oh, did I miss that other cop car? I think maybe I did. I don't know, maybe I fishtailed and barely hit it. Oh uh, yeah, we kissed it. Okay, good, it's moving. Just the last two SUVs here. I have no doubt though that the silver bullet will have little issue getting past these brawny guys right here. You can see they're looking right at us. No big deal though. The front of that, the front of that bus, man, it is like a sledgehammer when it comes to hitting stuff. So now all that's left is to uh, ignite the hidden thrusters inside of the flying school bus and take off into the great beyond. Later folks, we've had enough of this. We've had enough of Beam Mountain for now. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed. This little, uh, this little put together scenario of cop car barricades for BMMG. Until next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.